because all the batteries are, are getting uh, short life with the cold I put a battery in pretty much every orifice I can find every little pocket and <laughs> little orifice I can find I've got a battery or fuel because keeping the alcohol for the stove warm is a good idea um, so everywhere I can find a battery or a bit of electronic kit that uh, needs a battery and things like that so um, it's all in little pockets and stuff so that should keep all the batteries good for tonight. I'm going to have to find a way of putting them somewhere tonight in the quilt with me. Tonight I've got a homemade top quilt. hope it works because uh, I'm going to need it. It's the most lowest temperature spec quilt I can make. Um, it's got loads of down in it. At well over a pound of the highest quality down. So yeah, I'll be fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a vapour quilt over the top of that, breathable vapour quilt, the one that I made. So in the morning I won't get any condensation on the quilt. I made a better one now with no sew through, so uh, that's going to be really good. And uh, yeah, it's all going, everything's to plan, you can see the lights dropping now. Uh, come back a bit later when I'm done with food. It's getting really dark. Very bleak out there. Pretty wild. And the whole wild camping theme. Got me uh, food on now. So a little stove's going away. It definitely uses more fuel when it's sub-zero. We're minus 0.2 now. So in this sub-zero, use more fuel. So I'm going to take more fuel next time. I've got plenty with me today, but I think I'd take an extra 30 millilitres. I've got 60 on me, which is enough for food tonight. If I want to do porridge tomorrow morning, I've got enough for that, enough for drinks, etc. So uh, that's okay. I'm getting a boil on. Uh, but I think, yeah, I'm thinking definitely take more fuel next time uh, just for emergencies and things like that it is quite tricky to light so you've got to keep the fuel warm in your pockets and, uh, but you know those gas jet flame lighters they they just don't work in sub-zero so don't use those big lighters work if you keep them warm uh, pretty well I used a little petrol lighter a little peanut lighter um, that works fine I've also got um, I've also got a spoiling on this. Yeah. I've also got um, a ferro rod and striker, so if all else fails, I can use that. Um, but I like to use my Bic lighters if I can, because they're just a lot easier. Uh, so I've got three different types of way of lighting a fire, and I think you need that in these conditions, because uh, you can't guarantee everything's going to work very well. Uh, so just bear that in mind. So yeah, it's getting pretty cold. It's zero degrees inside and outside the tent now. Uh, so I'll be getting ready for bed soon, getting all my duvet, getting warmed up after I've eaten my food. So the, the water's on for the food. I'll be putting it in here just to uh, let that cook. You let it sit for five minutes. And it sort of cooks. And then... Uh, eat the food and then I'll get ready and then I'll come back to you after that after I'm all settled and things okay see you later bye I gotta get changed into my merino wool underwear in zero degrees that's gonna be fun right I shall uh, see you later cheers bye I just go through my routine that I do I just that's the little lantern I'm using that I made it's perfect for lighting up the tent uh, what's I gonna do So my routine is, um, so use the loo before I go in the toilet just next door <laughs> and then um, strip down, put merino wool base layer on, so that's leggings and a top with long sleeves and then once that's done, um, so put that on, then I put my 
hiking trousers on, which are dry because I used a wet, wet um, a waterproof layer on top trousers. Um, and then change my socks. And when I change my socks, I rub my feet um, a to get blood circulation down there because I get a bit cold sitting around. Um, and also I put a foot powder on. I use athlete's foot powder because it's antimicrobial, so it'll kill any bacteria uh, that's there. And when you massage it in, it, it warms the feet up, gets blood flow going, and also dries up any moisture you might have in your feet from walking. And if you've got any blisters, it'll dry those out too. So I haven't got any blisters because it's been, I've used the two, layer, two sock layer system. So I got a very thin sock on next to my skin and then a thick sock, walking sock, which is merino wool on the outer. And that is uh, to create two layers that, that can move so it doesn't rub against your skin. But that foot powder makes your skin very slippery uh, in the morning as well. So it stops any chafing or anything like that. So foot powder is a must for me and it just makes you so comfortable and warm before going to bed, which is good. I'm fully fed, loads of um, uh, liquids, so I'm fully hydrated. I can feel my body burning that food now, so it's nice and warm. Um, in terms of sleep systems, I've got, uh, this is the, um, this is the vapor crook that I made, which is just a synthetic layer. It's got a breathable inner, and the outer has got a DWR coating to keep the moisture out, and then a thin insulating layer inside. This will keep any condensation on this, which is easy to dry out, and keep it off um, my down uh, insulation. So this is uh, the down quilt that I made. This is a top quilt. This is sugar down to minus 15 degrees C. Uh, it's got a lot of down in it, uh, high quality down. So I'm toasty warm at the moment. So I've got the quilt, then I've got this layer, which also gives a bit of insulation as well. Um, and this shouldn't get damp because of this, uh, this layer on top. Down at the feet end, I want to X-ped down that. And then I've got a little, I don't know if you can see it, I've got a little, Reflectix, the thing that I sit on, I put it under my feet, gives a little bit of extra warmth from your feet, reflects it back up. So this is attached just with two straps that go all the way under my pad, so it can't move, uh, but it's plenty of room to loft the, the quilt, it doesn't stop the quilt often. So at the moment, I'm toasty warm. The temperature, where's the temperature gone? It's falling down. So the temperature outside is minus 0.8 degrees C, inside is 6.7, so quite warm inside. Um, and with all this insulation, it won't be a problem at all. I got the cheap uh, Nature Hike Chinese camping pillow, which I really love. It's just so comfortable. I might do something to stop it slipping around now. I might work out some sort of way to stop that slipping around. I'll work that out, that's the problem. Um, and because it's a top quilt, my arms are free. I'm not feeling tucked in at all. It's easy to get up and do stuff. It's easy to tuck yourself in. Just pop it over your shoulder, tuck it in around your sides and you're good to go. It's really wide so I can turn on my side, no problem. Um, yeah, it's just lovely. It's just full of down and just lovely and warm at the moment, it's really good. So, uh, so that's that, that's the sleep system, that's the clothing I've done. So I'm just gonna do a bit of admin now. So my phone was running that battery. I'll just pop me on that side. So my phone was running that battery, so I've got this now. So I got this, obviously my phone, in a, like an armoured case, so it keeps the moisture out and stuff like that. But I got this, I bought this, this is um, a Nightcore, I love Nightcore, I think it's a great company, make great products, so this came out, it's called a Flex Bank, 
F1. And all it is, is a single 16, 18650 battery, which is lithium ion, um, with a charger. And in one end you can charge other stuff, and in that end you can charge the battery. So it's super light, it's only like 30 grams. Um, it's got a lot of intelligence in there, so it doesn't overcharge the battery. It cycles the batteries, keeps them very healthy, um, checks for overcurrent, checks for reverse polarity, all the usual gubbins. So it's got a little thing on the side. And I've got a couple of batteries in my pocket uh, to keep warm, spare ones. So I'll just pop those in if that runs out. Um, but yeah, super lightweight charger. I love it. Really good. Really excellent. I'll do a proper review on that another time. Uh, so that's charging my phone up at the moment. Um, so I'll be doing a bit of admin and uh, I'll probably catch you in the morning. Okay, hopefully everything goes all right. I'm feeling warm, feeling good, feeling full up. Um, so uh, I'll check you in the morning. Okay, cheers, bye. All right, so it's about uh, 10 to one in the morning. So I'll just sort of show you what it's like tonight. It's pretty bad. So been like this for been like this for a little while well all night really um, tent shaking So the tent staked out really well, uh, big long stakes and uh, it's designed for this kind of weather so it should be fine. But yeah, it's very wild, high wind, heavy rain, it's pretty crazy. I should have brought some earplugs. <laughs> mad <laughs> that's world camp that's world camp for you it's pretty mad but I'm nice and warm this top quilt's excellent it's still zero degrees but I'm toasty warm inside this quilt so uh, that's, that's a good sign just thought I'd show you what it's like on a world camp when it really does get wild So I'm not sure if I get this all night, we'll see. It seems to be more rain than snow, so I don't know what we're going to wake up to. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm trying to uh, get some sleep. See you in the morning.